banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I've got a handheld game system that looks like a PSP, but it's not. It's the PVP with a 999,999 in one game card installed. The PVP. Where'd you find this? That's a lot of games. One short of a million, in fact. The PVP. Pocket Light. The digital pocket system. Surprisingly, this was made in China. And it resembles that other portable game system from that, that other company you may have heard of. Uh, I think it was Magnavox. Maybe Starcast. I don't remember. But this doesn't play UMDs, it plays the 999,999 in one game card, which has at least 30 games on it. All of which are officially licensed, I'm sure. Games like Contra and Super Mario Brothers, Millipede, and Donkey Kong. It's like having an entire arcade in your pocket. Oh yeah, talk about two musical tracks that don't go well together at all. Let's just, let's just fix that. I never realized that Nintendo gave their blessing to other handheld game systems these days. You can't find Super Mario Brothers on the Vita or the iPad, but you can play it on the PvP. And how about some other games like Contra? Yes, the PvP has that too. These people must have an in with the industry insiders, if you know what I mean. I don't even know what I mean, so I'm not sure how you're expected to know what I mean. What the hell do I mean? Where am I going with this? What day is it? Let me answer your dumb question, Mark. It's a nice day to play Dig Dug on the PvP, as well as some other officially licensed Namco games like Xevious. The thing is, all of these games look and play really well, probably because they're so officially licensed. Any more official would just be above the law. I can't think of any word stronger than official in this context. How about like super official? They would have invented themselves. So where do you find one of these PVPs? Well, according to eBay, they come out of Hong Kong. And I even see a green one on there which looks pretty nice. They run about 30 bucks. And I know what you're thinking, holy crap! About a million games for 30 bucks? Sign me up! Because that's a lot of games, and the screen is pretty nice, the buttons work well, it's comfortable, and feels like that other... That other handheld. The one that kinda looks like this. But, ho hold on. Hold on, before you run out and buy one, there's a catch. You don't actually get 999,999 games in one. You get a lot less than that. It's probably more like two dozen, maybe 20, 30, I don't know. It's hard to say because they repeat themselves and who can tell what's lurking in the middle here? It would take all week to figure it out. Is there a copy of Joust 3 in there somewhere? Does that even exist? I don't know, who's got the time? Well, let's, let's just put it this way. For such an officially licensed product, the PVP has a lot of great games. Games like Millipede, except it doesn't have a trackball, but that, that's alright, the D-pad's not too bad. 
the game plays pretty well, except this thing doesn't seem to work with any of the headphones that I have. The plug doesn't fit. I've got a huge classic game room. Shout out and thank you to send to Rashid from Gilderland, New York, near Albany. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you for sending the PvP. You get a lot of great games on one nice little handheld. 999,999 minus 999,970 plus or minus a few officially licensed games on the PvP.